lot of history there. And then those astronauts, as we said, for the missions subsequent to Apollo 7 have been walking out the doors as you see now. Here they come, our CFT crew taking their first steps outside for their historic flight test to the International Space Station. Commander Butch Wilmore and pilot Sonny Williams. LC Slick on channel one. Go ahead, Slick. Hatch open ops complete. Confined space checks are nominal. Roger. You can hear Butch there saying thank you for everyone for being there. He said, let's fly. They're now walking over to their respective areas, right? Again, we have family and friends here to see Butch and Sunny. Everybody looks really happy, smiling, excited. They'll have a couple of minutes here uh, to chat with their family and friends, Nicole, before we expect them to get into the Astrovan and drive off at three hours and 20 minutes from launch, so about three uh, three minutes from now. And you can see they gave the, it looks like they gave the roses to their family. That's a nice touch. And then you can see other people that are, are watching or observing are kind of staying back behind that line there just because of the uh, quarantine that the astronauts have been in for the past two weeks. Yeah, there's, uh, there's sections, right? There's uh, the first section of people who have been in quarantine. Second section might be extended family who couldn't do the quarantine. And then we have the media, of course, covering this historic launch. And this is a special moment. I mean, it looks like it's crowded there, but it's, but it's really um, a private moment that you kind of have with your family to exchange some words and give some uh, final words of encouragement for those that are staying back on the planet and for the uh, person that's leaving the planet as well. Yeah, both Butch and Sonny have said, you know, they have uh, included their family every step of the way of of their uh, of their mission. So really, uh, they feel like their family is ready and and excited and happy for them to embark on this journey. Absolutely, and your family is such a big part of this. Your 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 immediate family, of course, your extended family, then your NASA family and your Boeing family. It's really everybody working together and supporting each other is, is the only way we can make these incredible things happen. Yeah, less than two minutes from them to drive off to their launch pads. I do want to point out who's going to be getting in the Astro van with them. So we will have a driver. His name's actually Rodney Perry. And he said, I could not pass the opportunity <laughs> up to drive astronauts to a launch pad. I don't blame them. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a backup driver is going to ride passenger, monitor again those communications that we're hearing over the loops, the nets, just to keep tied in with the operation. He said uh, that Butch and Sonny are just down to earth fun people, excited to, again, play a small part in their mission. And then also Fink, NASA astronaut, is going to ride with them. Can you talk to us about that, Nicole? Yeah, so again, in that um, in that astronaut support role, Mike will be with them all the way up until they get on the elevator to go up into the launch pad, and he's there to just answer any questions they have, uh, help them out in any way. Uh, it's nice having uh, kind of just a person, a colleague that's there, should you need anything. Um, and then, of course, uh, Spanky's taking notes on everything because, uh, as mentioned before, we're always learning and improving uh, our processes. And so he will take any lessons learned back for his lunch. And we're watching now as Butch and Sunny give air kisses, air hugs. <laughs> you can see they have a, like a, a visor, a film, kind of protective layer there on top of their visor. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Velcro to the back there, and that's just so the visor doesn't get scratched as mm. they're as they're moving around um, to the launch pad. And then they'll remove that protective visor when they get into the spacecraft. That makes sense. Thumbs up to everybody. They're like, "Let's get out of here, guys." <laughs> a hug Almost there for three hours and twenty minutes. One of you guys' uh, colleagues, right, Dee? That's right. That's Megan Donaldson. Um, she works very closely with the astronauts. Uh, she's our astronaut liaison um, and ensures that they have proper interaction with our teams uh, to encourage safety and to remind everyone that this is a crewed flight and this is who we do it for. Now she's closing the door. The stairs are going up. We see the backup driver getting into the passenger seat. 
I always expect the, uh, you know, the Astro van to zoom away or something, but <laughs> for some reason it always drives so slowly. <laughs> I guess safety first, right? Exactly. I was just okay. going to say, okay. safety first. <laughs> we have speed limits here on Kennedy Space Center. Yeah, don't you, take those very don't you encourage people to, to beat those speed limits? Of course limits. not. <laughs> I'm sure everybody getting situated in there. The windows, they look opaque, but actually the astronauts can see out of them, right, Dee? That's right. So they'll be able to have views of the entire uh, Kennedy Space Center as they ride to their pad. And what a beautiful time to be riding to the pad. We're about to see sunset here, golden hour. Absolutely, it's gorgeous. And it's always fun because you drive out to the pad and and there's a lot of locations, especially coming by the vehicle assembly building where the streets are just lined with folks so waving and uh, cheering you on. We expect the drive to take about 20 to 25 minutes from here to launch pad 41 on Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. So not on Kennedy Space Center property, just next to us. Again, about a 20 to 25 minute drive. How are you feeling on that drive, Nicole? We were definitely excited. I, I was in a car with Josh, uh, as I mentioned before, who was our pilot for Crew 5, and we had a music playlist uh, that we listened to, but we picked too many songs, so we had to <laughs> kind of like rush through to the next song because we wanted to get all those songs in. We had uh, some songs that kind of hype you up, some songs that had some like special, you know, personal meaning to us, hmm. and then, uh, you know, a couple songs that just as a crew was something that we really enjoyed together. Speaking of music, both Butch and Sonny obviously wanted to have some music to get them in the mindset as well. Butch said epic movie songs, which I'm sure doesn't surprise you. His <laughs> phone has, he said, over 300 epic movie songs. And then uh, Sonny has said she's more of a country, country pop kind of gal. So really that vibe is just, you know, kind of relaxing with family on the beach. So that's kind of the music that they've been uh, listening to to get them in the mindset for today. Absolutely. I mean, you're definitely focused on, uh, you know, launch and the upcoming mission, but the, but the ride over gives you just a chance to kind of kick back and reflect a little bit about all the work that's gone into preparing for this moment, all the teams of folks that have been working hard to make sure that this launch is as safe as feasibly possible, oh, and then also to reflect hours, 17 minutes. on your family and what a critical component they are to this mission. Seems there might have been a slight delay, but now everybody is back in, and we are off. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams now en route to Cape Canaveral Space Force Station's launch pad 41 with a full security ex escort. A beautiful aerial shot there to show you the convoy that will take them to their launch pad. Now, I remember, Dee, you said that inside there's a TV in there. And of course, we wanted to know what the astronauts will be watching while on their ride to their pad. And we found out they'll be watching the Top Gun Maverick movie. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you laughing, Nicole, because uh, that is very much the two of them in a way to get them both amped up. As we've mentioned before, both are experienced naval aviators. And we actually have some old school pictures we'd like to show you now. We have a picture of Sonny back in the day. A and that particular movie has significance to her because she said when she first got into the Navy, she thought about being a diver, but then she watched the Top Gun, the first Top Gun movie, and she decided to go to flight school. So she ended up being a helicopter pilot, right, Nicole? That is awesome. That's a great picture. I have not seen that one before. Yeah. Yeah, Sonny was a helicopter pilot and a test pilot um, and is, uh, is still a wonderful pilot today. She actually flies a lot of general aviation as well. Mm -hmm. And then we have a picture of Butch, of course. Fun fact, he was actually a real Top Gun pilot. And Dee, you mentioned Chris Ferguson, uh, a retired NASA astronaut. He's on the far right. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to us again about, about him and, and the fact that he too was a Top Gun pilot. Uh, that is correct. You know, he. LC Slick on Channel One. Go ahead. Crew Transport Convoy is en route to LC 41. Estimated arrival to the roadblock is about L minus, uh, I would say, 305. Roger. 